This video is one of three videos that will walk you through the accounting transactions related to notes payable. In this video I'm going to take you through how to record the liability upon issuance of a note payable. Let's first talk a little bit about what a note payable is. A note payable is found on this thing called the balance sheet. And the balance sheet tells us what we have. Those are the assets such as cash, equipment, building, all of the things that a corporation owns or has direct control over. And then the balance sheet tells us, well, who owns them? Liabilities would be representative of the creditors, a banker maybe, or a, uh, the IRS, or different uh, entities that have borrowed us money. And then thirdly, it also shows us the equity, which the equity is the portion of the assets that are owned by the, the owners, typically stockholders and a corporation. And so the notes payable as they relate to the balance sheet are going to be found underneath the liabilities. They are an obligation to pay someone or something within the next fiscal or calendar year or operating cycle, whichever is longer. So that's important because it tells us how much does this company have to have in cash reserves or in, in liquid assets to meet these liabilities and if they don't have enough assets that's a risk because they could face uh, bankruptcy or some other issues in meeting those obligations. So that's the importance of understanding notes payable and how they relate to uh, a, a corporation or a company. Now let's walk through an example of how to record that initial issu issuance of a note payable. And I made up an example here with a, a fake farmer. So let's have a, let's say we have a farmer, Farmer Matt. Farmer Matt has no pigs currently and he wants to get into the business of raising pigs. So he ne he's figures well I got a pig pen big enough to hold a hundred pigs I gotta go out and buy these pigs baby pigs I'm gonna raise them and resell them and I can get them at a cost of fifty dollars each but I don't have that money but it only takes four months to raise a pig till it's it's at slaughtering weight so that's a pretty quick time frame turnaround so farmer Matt goes to the local credit union says I need some money I need five thousand dollars and my idea is to buy these pigs, raise them in four months, resell them at auction, and I'll have your money back and a little bit of profit. Credit union says, no problem. We know you. You've been a great customer. We have no uh, issues with loaning you the money. So on November 1st, the credit union says to Farmer Matt, yep, here's your $5,000. We'll, we'll give you five months to repay us. So it only takes four to raise them, but we'll give you an extra month in there before you have to pay us because it'll take some time to sell them. And we need to make some money. So we're going to charge you this thing called interest. It's 8% in this case. And that's an annual interest rate. That's an important piece of the puzzle here. So let's look at this first requirement, which is to journalize the issuance of the note payable. And we're looking at this from the perspective of the farmer. So if you look down here, I've got my farmer. This is Farmer Matt. And here's the credit union. We're going to analyze this transaction and look at what happened. Farmer Matt went to the credit union, says to the credit union, I want some money. Credit union says, okay, we'll give you some money, but you need to give us something. Well, what? Farmer Matt says, okay, I'll give you my word, my promise. I'm good for it. Bank might even have some collateral tied to it, but we'll ignore that for this purpose. So Farmer Matt gave a promise and in return received some money. So now that we understand the essence of the transaction, let's apply it to the accounting equation. Farmer Matt received money. Money is an asset. So Farmer's Matt, Farmer Matt's cash increased. So we're going to have to debit cash. And we know our accounting rules tell us for every debit we have to have a corresponding credit. And so Farmer Matt gave a promise. And his obligations now have increased. So we are going to credit a liability. And actually more specifically we're going to credit this thing called notes payable. Because notes payable is a form of a liability is a liability. So we can go back up to the problem and pull the information now to construct the journal entry. We need an amount. 
$5,000, we would refer to that as the face amount of the note. And we need a date, November 1st. It's when we entered into uh, the, the obligation for the note. So we're going to go down here and record our journal entry. Start with a date, November 1st. And on November 1st, we know that we always start with a debit. We're going to debit cash. Why do we debit cash? Right up here, we just walked through that. For $5,000. And we are going to credit this thing called notes payable in the amount of $5,000. Hopefully, you can see that. I'll just move it up here or not. So we debit cash, credit notes payable on November 1st. And that wraps up and answers and fulfills that first requirement, which is to journalize the issuance of the note payable. In essence, by doing that, we've reflected in the financial records for the farmer that they now have an obligation. And it's a short-term obligation, which tells an investor, tells a banker, tells an owner uh, some important information about liquidity.